How you doing, Myra? I'm okay. It's great to see you. I'm glad you're alive. Yep. Happy New Year's. Same to you. What's going on with you? What well, is um, um, you know, I'm still getting high, but I slowed down a lot. Um, I still got the same boyfriend that still, you know, helped me out. Um, so I'm ready to get clean now. That's my you, my 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 goal for this year. You know, my kids are getting bigger and bigger, so I'm ready to get clean. You're alive for yep, a I'm reason. Still alive. Exactly. Exactly. So many of our brothers and sisters are exactly. not here Exactly. I know. I know. Okay. So I did perks for eight years. Oh, well, I had my first kid. Um, my first kid, they prescribed me perks, the doctor. Um, the second kid, they prescribed me perks. I didn't take them. I didn't take them the first time, but the third time I took them and I got addicted. So I did that for seven years, and I met a guy that was 20 years older than me, and, you know, he gave me dope. And to me, it was the same shit. It was the same feeling. So that, that was my background, you know? And he, he, he mentally abused me. Like, he, he, it, was, it was like, if he, if he didn't bring it, I couldn't go out and get it because I was, um, you know, cheating, playing them. He would whoop my ass. He would think I'm stealing from him. But you know what? Karma got him and he, he got killed. Yep. That's how I feel. Mm-hmm. Understood. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm looking at your hand. You know, on AML Films, we all about showing people the harsh reality of addiction, right? Right. We Yo, have yeah, my arm is real swollen, but uh -huh. it's not for my addiction. I got robbed out here. Give us a backstory. What happened? Okay, so I was on Kansas City and Van Angle, and I was bent down looking at my bag, and two white bulls came out the train tracks, and the motherfuckers had a gun, threw me on the floor, Broke my, my, um, my, how you call this right here? Your wrist? My wrist. They broke my wrist. And it was either my wrist or my face. So I just, you know, used my arm to, like, hold myself up. But they took $250. They took my purse. And I never seen them again. Wow. Yep. How long ago that was? That was like a month ago. And let's see your see your wrist. Yeah, my wrist is my wrist is like bad. See it? Yeah, it's swollen really yeah, bad. Yeah, it's swollen really bad because I slept on it. Oh my God, have you been to the hospital? No. Nope. Why not? Because I just haven't go. You know why? Because I don't want to go in there and get sick. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that's what we hear a lot. Yeah, because they don't give you they give you comfort meds, but they don't give you what you need. What do you need? You need, you need like, you need to get on methadone or Suboxone right away. Mm. Uh huh. How painful is your hand from a one to ten? Huh? Right now, it's it's not painful. Right now, it's pretty, it's pretty okay. Yeah, I'm seeing, I see that you are struggling just to do certain things. Oh yeah, I can't even use my arm like I used to at all. So either I go and get my cast or I'm gonna lose my arm. Well, I hope you go get your cast. I will. Please do. I will. When I go in to get my cast, I'm gonna just go right into rehab after that. Amen. That's yep, beautiful. I'm ready to go. What? It's time. What what has made you made up your mind? That robbery. The robbery. Yeah, and my kids asking me questions when they want when when they coming home. Exactly, and right. that's what we are talking about now, the children, because what we're doing to our children, our children don't deserve that. No, they don't. They don't. And my kids came out really, really, really good kids, and they don't judge me. That's great. They, they, you know, they accept me how I am. What advice would you give to kids nowadays who are thinking this is a cool thing to do, take pills, 
and all the other stuff that come with peer pressure, what advice would you give them? I would give them, listen, don't, don't do it because you're gonna end up just like me. Just like me in the street, fucking, um, how can I say it? On dope, because once you start the perks, right? That start not feel, you start feeling that no more. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you're going to eventually graduate to other things. So please, kids, don't do not do it. Mm -hmm. So you get peer pressure, make sure you let somebody know Facts. before you try anything because y'all going to regret it. So a lot of people who are, you know, they got their life back together. They yeah. are in rehab or yeah. home. But they're doing great. But you know yeah. that, that monster is always on the back. It's, back. it's on your back. Right. So what advice would you give to these people who are having cravings and want to come back to Kensington or go back to dope? Don't do it. Don't do it. Because it's killing people. And I, and I know so many people that I know that I, you know, was out here with that's dead right now. Because they thought that this shit was dope like before. No, they giving us a horse tranquilizer, fucking fentanyl, stuff that we not supposed to put in our body. That's why a lot of people get holes in their body and all that crazy shit. So if y'all if if y'all want to take that road, then take it. But I'm telling you, for my advice, don't do it. It's not worth it. Alyssa got set on fire in this. Yeah, in right this in this park. But she was right there. Mm -hmm. She was right over there, and yep. it was it was an argument. It was an argument between her, her boyfriend, and and it was a her, her boyfriend, and it was another girl, and right. they and they fucking put her on fire, and left her for dead. Yup. That's sad. It was sad. Thank God she's alive. She survived. Right. And hopefully that'll be a wake up call for her. I hope so, because she went back to Florida. Mm hmm Uh-huh. Yeah, she's back with her mom. She's doing good. That's she, good. She's getting a lot of support from people around the world, sending yeah. her cards, letters yeah, I know. and gifts. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So for her to come back over here to get high, mm. that was like bad. And her scars on her, her wound wasn't I know. Hell. I know. So that would have been tragic, right? Right. Myra, what lesson have you learned from life so far? Oh man, I learned a lot of lessons that, 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 how, what can I, how can I put it? That this life ain't for nobody. And that if you love your kids, you, you really, really could do it. That anybody could get out this shit. Trust right. me, I seen it. Me too. I, mean, yeah. I seen it. What what are all what are all your biggest regrets that you had you have in life? All my biggest regrets was honestly not having my kids but meeting the father of my kids because I started doing perks with him. Right, right. Uh huh. If you could tell the world one thing, what mm -hmm. would you tell the world? I tell the world that. Think about it before you do it. Make sure you get advice from different people because for real, for real, this lifestyle, it ain't for nobody. And it's not worth it, especially living in the street. I don't live in the street, but I've been there. What's your living status now? My living status, I actually got a room right now. That's great, how do you, yeah. pay? How do you pay for your room? How do I pay for my room? I actually have a, a boyfriend that helps me out a lot. So he has a really, really good job. So, you know, he, he don't support my, my drug habit, but he does help me with my rent. How is your habit now? Has it increased? Oh, my habit been so low right now. How many bags do you use 24 hours now? I think six bags. That's, that's Hell good. Hell yeah, I was up to two bundles. Hmm. And that's, yeah. That's a lot. Like, right. that's a big, mm -hmm. right? 
You need help to open that? Yeah, please. Because <laughs> my struggle arm. struggle is real. That's why yeah. I said, you know, you having a hard time yeah, due to what happened to you. Yeah, because my arm. That's my favorite juice, yo. Oh, yeah? Yeah, oh, is it the blue one? Some. Nah, that's not that. That's the Snapple Kiwi oh, Strawberry. Oh no, yeah, we gotta get one. Yeah, we'll get you your favorite. Hell if yeah. you're hungry, we'll get you something to eat too. Hell yeah. Okay, cool. Now let me see. Mhm. Mm so what? What are your short-term goals now? Okay. My short my short-term goals is get into rehab, which that should happen real soon. Um, I'm definitely getting my kids back in my life. And um, getting a job, you know, living a uh, normal life. Oh, we're doing an interview. Uh -huh. That's beautiful, Myra. Uh -huh. I believe in you. Believe I in believe yourself. In my, I do. Love yourself because I if do. you don't love yourself, I do. It will be hard for you to love other. You can say you love other people, but it will be cheating yourself uh -huh. if you don't love yourself uh -huh. first. You know. So, so this new year, put yourself first, Myra. Right. And when you put yourself first, then you can put other people. Uh huh. In. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Once I go into rehab, I'm gonna just worry about myself, and then after that, I can worry about you know mm -hmm. getting my kids and getting my life and yep. Guys, that's wonderful hearing that from our girl Myra. We wish her all the best. I'm gonna show you some um mm -hmm. some pictures of some people mm -hmm. that their family are looking for them just mm -hmm. to make sure they are alive. Mm -hmm. So I just want you to like scroll down, see if you recognize anyone and uh they On alive, my page? right? That's that's a page called Found in Kensington. Families post their loved ones' pictures to see if they I don't think I'm on here though. Nah, I haven't seen you on there. Yeah. My family don't don't look for me. So just see if you recognize anyone and are they alive? Have you seen them? Oh, I them? think I've seen this one. Let's see who is that. Jen D. Hustler. You, when the last time you saw her? Yeah, but i seen the guy. Which one? This one right here. Okay, what's his name? It says, it says founder in Kensington, but it says Jen, uh -huh. Jen D. Hustler. So read, read what they said. Oh, it says, they say if anyone name. see my son Brandon. Oh, shit. Yeah, I just seen him yesterday. I just seen him yesterday. He was at, at, at where I stay. Please let me know. So I know he's alive. He's about five, six. Yup. Blonde hair. Yup. That is him. Blue eyes. 130. Yup. I seen him yesterday. He was over my house yesterday. He don't look like this no more, but right here. Right here, he cut his hair, but this is him. So if you see him, please tell him just reach out to his mom. Okay. You know, that's heartbreaking for her. She just want to make sure that he's alive. Yeah. See, if you go down, see if you recognize anyone else. Let me see. See, Myra is doing a great thing for families, helping them find their loved ones. Because addiction Mom. puts Mom. people on the run. Yeah. Because of the judgment from the from society, yeah, and that's why right. we breaking it. No, I've never seen her. I've seen him. What's his name? Um, Mercedes Martinez. Oh no, I've seen Bobby. I see him all the time. Bobby, yeah, I've been wondering. I haven't seen Bobby in a while. I see him all the time. Yeah. Uh huh. So yeah, tell Bobby his family looking for him to okay. call home, you know? Or him too. Well, who's that? Well, I'm trying to see his name. Uh-huh. I think his name is Don. Oh no, wait, wait. If anyone see E. Rich. No, I don't think that's him then. Yeah. I think the one I know is named John. Okay. Well, thank you so much for you know what you have given us so far and if you see any of them just let them know to call home that's all yeah they they family looking for y'all yeah that's it yeah and their pictures is is out there yeah people are looking for them yeah you know? yeah 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 if i God. see any of them i'm gonna mm -hmm. let them know like your family is looking for y'all facts mm -hmm. myra you have any words of encourage i mean you have any words you want to say to the people who have been rooting for you 
Um, yes, thank you so much for rooting for me. Because I know I could do it. Oh, man, my phone is about to die. Really? So, yeah, my phone is about to die. So we're going to do it another time. Okay. But that's great. You know, you mm -hmm. got hopes and you're mm -hmm. going to do this. When do you plan on... Goals. When When do you plan on getting this goal started? Um, next week. Hey, uh -huh. and we're going to stay connected with you, girl. Okay. In rehab, wherever you go, we're mm -hmm. going to be there with you. We're going to write you letters. We're going to okay. send you gifts that you, anything that you're in need of, we're uh -huh. there for you, all right? Right. A lot of our brothers and sisters. I don't sisters, got no family. We your family, uh -huh. all right? So yep. AML Films, whenever you, you know, go there, just uh -huh. reach out to me through uh -huh. an email and I'll get things rolling for you, whatever you, you need, all right? Yep. Okay, so AML family, that's a little, you know, quick little follow-up uh -huh. with our girl Myra. She's alive. She got hopes of getting out of Kensington and mm -hmm. back with her kids. And yeah. that's the best gift you can give your, yeah. your, your kids, mm -hmm. you, right? Right. So guys, don't be bitter, be better. And yeah. we out there, Mal and Myra, peace yeah. out. Mm -hmm.